All right, so who's hungry? Always. Yes. Every day. All right, all so day. are you looking for a warm dish to warm you up tonight? I know, I was just thinking soup sounds so good. It does sound good. These chilly winter nights. So yes. Sean has you covered in this week's Cooking with Styles. It is the perfect time of year to start making some soups. And if I got a good one for you, butternut squash with a little sour cream and papitas on top, let's get cooking with Styles. <laughs> So putting this soup together is just like any soup. You start at the bottom and work your way up with flavor. So what we're gonna do is add some olive oil here, our onion. Now onions cook a little bit slower than the garlic, so we'll saute these around for about two minutes. Next goes in the garlic, which is minced nicely. I've got my ginger. Boy, it really adds a lot to this. Rosemary, don't use a lot because it's very powerful. And please use fresh and the sage as well. We're gonna saute this around for about a minute more, and then we're gonna add our squash and broth. All right, just spend another minute or so, and boy, I wish you could smell this. It is spectacular, the ginger and garlic and rosemary. Now we're gonna put in our broth. And to that, I will then add my squash. And we're just gonna put that in like so. And we're gonna bring that to a slow boil. I'll season with a little salt here now and black cracked pepper. And we'll bring that to a boil and cook the squash until it's tender. Been simmering now for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna check this squash. Okay, yeah, you see how easy that goes in? Nice and tender, it's falling apart. We wanna shut this off, pull it off the heat, and let this cool just a little. All right, our squash has cooled down enough to start blending it. It's still warm and it's still dangerous. So I'm gonna to start to put this in here, but what I want you to do is be very careful because this is molten hot, basically. If this was to spill on you, it would be catastrophic. So we're gonna keep loading the blender up and blending this until we get this all nice and creamy and I'll start transferring it over. We'll pulse it at first and then put it on grate. All right, and, and if this happens to you, it's a little too thick, just add a little more broth, pulse it, and we're looking for it. There you go, okay. We're gonna transfer this over and do this over and over again. All right, the last one is done. I've got this all back in the pot. And what I'm going to do is make sure that this is nice and warm. I'll turn the heat back on to a medium heat and bring it up to a simmer. It's been about 10 minutes. Let's give this a taste test. See, that's why it's important to taste just before you serve. We're gonna put a, a, about a half teaspoon of salt in it. I'm gonna let that cook for about another five minutes to let all that salt incorporate in, and then I'll serve it up. Now that the flavors are all blended, let's get it in a bowl and serve it up. If you don't have a pastry bag, you have a Ziploc bag, put your sour cream in, and then just cut the little end off and now you have a little pastry bag. And I'm gonna put this in really nice and gently because I want it to look really pretty. And we're gonna just take this little Ziploc bag and I'm gonna put a little zip around in there like that. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've taken some papitas or pumpkin seeds and I've toasted them with a little bit of salt and olive oil, put those on top. And when we were seasoning, we didn't put the pepper in. I like to put that on at the end because of that beautiful contrast. Boy, that looks good. A butternut squash and bowl of soup. And don't forget the crusty sourdough bread with a little butter on the side. If you'd like this recipe and more, go to cvs8.com slash recipes. That's cooking with styles. Elevate it.